Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're reviewing my Zin 144 Anniversary Type 2. Now this watch is a limited edition watch and there's only going to be 600 of these available. It's actually celebrating 60 years of Zin and I think it's absolutely stunning. I really have been enjoying this watch. Um, if you would have come to the Zin event we housed, we uh, we actually housed at Francis and Gay, you would have been there when I actually brought this watch. A couple of the guys were eyeing it up, but I wasn't going to let this one go. So um, I said to Ryan, I wanted this watch, and I'm so glad I did because I think it's absolutely stunning. It really is a nice watch. Um, let's get into the sizes first before we talk more about it. It's a 41 millimeter case, so a nice compact design by 14 and a half millimeters thick. The look to look on this watch is a little bit hard to quantify because obviously we have on this at the moment a silicon strap going on there, but it's actually around about 45 millimeters, which is really quite compact. But the bracelet size is where we get it a little bit, it gets a little bit complicated here because obviously the silicon is the width of the watch. The actual black bracelet, which comes with this watch beam, but it is a limited edition, at this point here, the smallest point it is 20 millimeters, but that sits inside the watch and it actually reads from the outside here. So it's more, it's more towards the 24 millimeter, but it just works so well. You know, it, it really is a comfortable watch to wear, but being that it's a limited edition, it also comes with this silicon band. And I love the silicon band. It is so soft and pliable. It really is nice. And unlike many, which uh, I know like Craft of Blue, where I've had some of them, they push the watch off the wrist. This one simply doesn't do that. I think it is such a nice, comfortable strap. I've actually done um, a video of me cutting this strap. And if you've got a Zim watch, you'll know it's not for the faint of heart. So I'm going to actually post that up. It's a silly one, but just seeing how I go about cutting the, the actual strap. Now, some people would say this watch is a kind of, obviously they just copied the Top Gun watch from the uh, Porsche design and so forth. But what you gotta remember, this watch has been around now for coming on, I believe it's 50 years, roughly, around about, uh, I think it's about borderline 49, 50 years old, this actual design is. So, you know, it is what it is. I personally think it looks absolutely amazing. Now, the dial on this watch, we do have a, it's kind of like not quite, yeah, it is sort of like matte black really, you know, somewhere in between. Um, on the dial, obviously we have the three sub dials here, which um, correspond at the one at 12 o'clock and nine o'clock, sorry, nine, sorry, 12 and six, what am I saying, are corresponding to the chrono, which is indica indicated by these orange, kind of ready orange hands. And the subdial at the nine o'clock here is your running second hands for your regular time. Now we do have a day date complication down there with the Zin logo above and the automatic at the bottom. If I zoom in, let's zoom in a bit more. Zoom in at the bottom there, you can see the made in Germany, which is always on there. And at the top here, we have the 60 is actually, um, what you call it, highlighted being it's the same color as the hands. Now the reason for that is that it is, this is the 60th anniversary watch and there are only 600 of these available. So I must stress, if you do want one of these watches, I would order it sooner rather than later because I do believe they will disappear. And once they go, it's going to be a real hard watch to try and find. If I start the chrono, you can see the other hand there. Nice, solid press there. That's the um, minute hand for the chrono. Down below, we have the hour indicator. So I think this can record 12 hours of chrono use. So you've got a long period of timing on this watch. Now, as we come out to the chapter ring here, it's got a dual function. Now, the first section across to here, so around about a 330 position, is a pulse, um, a pulse -ometer, not a pulse -ometer, a tacky for ring pulse anyway. And I think that is actually quite useful or, can be useful. The next is your normal distance 
um, style. So what I'll, if I indicate how this works, if I stop the chrono for now, now let's say you feel, yeah, your pulse where on the first pulse you feel click. And then basically what you do is you read, you know, you count 15 pulses. So as you're counting your pulses, you get round to your 15th stop. Now you read this and it's indicating that you've got roughly 80 beats per minute. So it's a nice little, I think it's actually quite a, a cool little thing to have on the watch. And yet it's so simple, but kind of cool. So there you go. So it's it's a nice little touch. Now, the there's plenty of loom on this watch, I should point out as well. I'll drop a loom shot in so you can see that. Now, as we come out, we have a flat crystal. The bezel on this watch is integrated into the case, so it's not separate and comes down quite steeply onto this rather sculpted case, really. from You can see how well sculpted down it is. Now, yes, it is black. Now, some people will say, well, that will just simply scratch off in no time at all. But this has got Sin's tagmenting uh, surface hardening. Uh, going on here now I've got a U2 from over I've had for nine years it is real it's almost no marks on there now I'm not saying it is fully scratch um, proof because nothing is but it's very good for scratch resistance so hopefully this will keep looking like this for a long time in fact if you're geeking you're into your figures we're talking over 1200 uh, sorry over 2000 Vickers in hardness which if I put it into context, a uh, a standard 316 steel is round about coming on for almost 200 Vickers. This is a lot, lot more resistant to scratching. Now, also, you might notice this. That is a tiny uh, titanium insert with copper sulfite granules in there, which absorb moisture, which obviously moisture is no good for the um, fine, delicate oils and moving parts within a watch. And that simply tries to draw them out. And depending on the darker that gets, depending on how much moisture it's actually absorbed. Now, there's moisture obviously in oxygen, but this watch hasn't actually got any oxygen in it. They um, assemble the watch... Uh, case for watch in an inert gas so that way there isn't actually any um, hopefully or a lot less moisture in the watch than what should be now also you need better seals EDR seals which are a tighter tolerance and that they also fit to this watch due that it's got this tech the warranty from Zin is three years now other um, bits and pieces we have it has a low pressure it's been low pressure rate uh, tested. It is a 200 meter diver. I say sapphire crystal, both front and rear. Um, so it's it's got kind of a lot going on there. It's also a 200 meter diver. Now, as we walk around the watch kind of, we've got a screw down crown. Let me show you, let me stop this. Let me, uh, where's this out? You can see how much thread there is on that. Still going for it. That's loose now. So you can see there's actually quite a lot of thread on there. Let's just move that hand out of the way. Cool. You can see the dial a little bit better. Now I'll screw it back in. So plenty of screw thread on there. You can see when you look round at the pushers here, the tolerance does look quite impressive. I simply, I say, I don't wear this so much on the bracelet. I do like it on the bracelet, but I just simply find this strap is so, um, it's just so, so comfortable. It feels absolutely amazing. And at this end, we have the Zin butterfly uh, clasp. Very solid. And this is the newer style of butterfly class. I have done a video on this actually, and does have micro adjustment. So you do have a little bit of a um, adjustment there. I'm lucky because I've got this one out, that one in, so I can go in one or I can go out one. So you kind of covered there. Now, the movement in this watch is the newer Concepto, the C99001. And I find it to be okay. I've put it on the time grapher. Um, as you can see, it pulls around about plus two seconds a day. Beat air is a little bit high if I had to be super critical um, at 0.5, which I am surprised at, but it 
you know, I say it's got no problems at all. There is actually a nice amount of decoration on this one. We have blue screws, striping, machining on the back. And I love the fact that the rotor, if I can uh, get to spin, which I can't because I'm on camera, just spins so freely. It's lovely. And I like the fact that I can feel that every so often on my wrist because I simply think it's, it, it, I've said it before, it's the beating heart of the watch. It's just nice when you can feel that on you. Now, if I put this uh, on my wrist to get an idea of it, there we go. Say, so obviously, it's got sapphire crystal air coated on both sides. Quick wrist check, um, a Batman I'm wearing today, Rolex Batman. I should say that um, the Concepto movement has got rough, roughly a power reserve of around about 50 hours. So, uh, just gives you an idea. And there you go. Now, I have got a seven and a quarter inch wrist and I think it looks absolutely spot on. Um, I actually sold one of my watches to get hold of this. I sold a Marine Master MM300 because I really wanted this watch. And I think it just looks superb. Um, I say it's like a classic Pilot Chrono, but I think now they've done this black and this silicon, I think it's super. One thing I should actually point out um, just a little side note, really. Um, this silicon strap only fits, I believe it only fits this 144. Because when you take this out of here, there's actually two sets of spring bar holes in uh, recesses in this case. Now, it depends which strap you're using. If you're using the silicon strap, they supply separate, um, I think a slightly thicker um, spring bars because uh, they are two different sizes I think one's 1.8 one one's 1.4 and they fit a lot snug a lot more snugly in this silicon band and you can tell which hole to put it in because if you get it in the wrong one it just simply you can see it isn't fitting correctly and when you look at that the tolerances on that I think are absolutely superb they've done such a good job of it in fact one of the strange things is um the spring bars back here are actually uh, black coated as well, which is really bizarre. I don't know why it is, but they have done it. So there you go. But it's, I love it. I really, um, it's really got me excited. I really like this watch. So I'm so happy that I did actually buy it. Or well, one thing to point out, I should say actually, another little quick thing, the date, date complication, the day is only available in German, which let's face it, is kind of cool. We like that. Um, the bracelet, just a quick bit over, I still have some of the stickers on here actually, um, is great. No, you know, can't fault it. It is a screwed, um, we do have screwed links in there. We have three levels of micro adjustment in the clasp. I know what some people are gonna say, oh, I don't like that clasp. It's just, it is a nice uh, slim clasp. And I've never had one fail on me ever. You do get a dive link extension there. You can see still stickered up, but it's simply solid. I've got, you know, um, Breitlin's at almost 3,000 pounds. They use exactly the same system as this. Most brands still use this kind of system, but you know, who knows? I don't I don't mind a if they make a better one, but for, I don't want it any thicker than that. Any thicker than that, and I think you've you've ruined it. I'd rather keep with this myself. So we'll see. You can see the uh the case hardening symbol there, tagment um case hardening. So material hardening, I should say. But yeah, so that's the bracelet. I'll drop some pictures obviously in with the bracelet as well, but I love this watch. I think it's great. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the watch, if you like it, or if you think, no, there's there's better, whatever. Um, let us know. I'll always try and get back to the comments and I'll leave you to it, guys. Okay, all the best and stay safe out there. Bye.